whenever there is a fatality in our county, it is one of those unbearable moments. We've had 38 fatalities in the past year, including a number of motorists, pedestrians, bicyclists. We've had four in the past two months. And it has caused all of us, and you can see behind me, the entire community, to ask ourselves, what more can we do? We have literally taken to the streets. We have beseeched the governor to change how they deal with state roads. We have had our police have a sting operation looking like homeless people in order to get people that are distracted on their phones. We are urging our state legislature to finally act on drunk driving. But there is more we can do. And there's more that other communities have committed to doing. And it is called Vision Zero. And what Vision Zero says, in effect, is it's time to stop thinking of these fatalities as accidents. These are crashes that we can and must act to prevent. And we must say to ourselves, zero is our goal. And we will set a time certain by which we will achieve that goal. And we will use data to drive changes in policy both at the local level here in Montgomery County and at the state level to bring about that zero result. Our community is united. This resolution has been co-sponsored by every one of my colleagues. You can see the administration is here in force with its full support. And you can see and you will hear from community members who say enough is enough. Let's do everything we can. And what this resolution that will be introduced today says is exactly that. We are going to do everything that we can to get to zero by a time certain. Let me turn to my colleague, the chair of the Public Safety Committee, who has been a great colleague on this sets of issues. Thank you. Um, this, this is an issue that has long plagued us in Montgomery County. Uh, I started uh, political life here as, a, as an activist in the community, and I cannot think of how many times people would petition for um, stop signs or petition for lights, and we could not, particularly on state roads, get a stop sign or light because the state said you don't have a sufficient number of accidents or incidents. And then somebody would get killed. And then the state would engage in a discussion about putting in a light or putting in a different traffic control. And this idea that, that we cannot analyze and look at areas that are high-risk areas and make decisions based on the fact that it's simply a high-risk area, that you have to literally have you know, a body count in order to be taken seriously, that's a culture that needs to change. And I think this is you know, an important step that we've taken here to say we've had enough and we're going to move in a different direction, and we're going to move in a different direction aggressively. Um, I look at all these crosswalks. They are so minimally marked, and I've heard so many criticisms, even from drivers, about you can't tell whether the car, why the car in front of you is stopping. And so people move around the car that is stopped for what appears to be no apparent reason, and then they wind up hitting somebody. Uh, there's better crosswalk technology out there. We've probably all seen it. Some, on occasion, it's actually been in the county but it's not where we need it, it's not in enough places where we need it, and I think we really need to move forward. And the thing about traffic, these traffic fatalities is that every one of these deaths is preventable. This is not like a disease where you, know, you can you know, shoot for a cure and you could, you know, some people are gonna make it and some people are not. There's nobody who's, not, who's been killed that wasn't either a victim of their own negligence or somebody else's negligence. Either somebody who crossed when they shouldn't or a driver who was distracted or a driver who didn't respect the right of a person to be in a crosswalk or a bicyclist who didn't stop at a stop sign. At some point, these, every single accident is preventable. And shame on us if we don't take the steps 
to bring this under control because this is something we actually have the ability to do. But more importantly, our residents have the ability to do it. And that's why I think there's a heavy component of education trying to get the folks in our community to understand that this does not have to happen. This is not an inevitable part of life in a, in a suburban or urban setting. So I'm happy to join in this and I'm really grateful to see all the support here for doing this. And uh, I look forward not only to getting unanimous approval on the council, but to actually putting money into some things that will make a difference. Thank you. Mr. Reamer is the other lead co-sponsor of this resolution. Thank you, Chairman Belenner. Our county is lucky to have a uh, council member like Mr. Belenner leading the transportation uh, committee when we turn to issues like this, because you, know, you are such a champion here. Um, and I really applaud you for bringing this together this morning. We need to bring a real culture change to the county, and that is the hardest thing to do. Uh, we have to create behavior change, not only for our residents, but for the employees of our county and ultimately state organizations uh, in how they conduct their affairs. And that is not going to be easy, but we know what the solutions are. They're, they're well known. You know, we already have a speed camera program that has been documented by the highway safety experts as truly reducing the cause of uh, the incidence of death and of, of crashes. Uh, we need to look at how to expand that wherever there are safety issues. Uh, we need to look at intersection design and roadway design and design our roads for slower speeds and we need to lower speed limits wherever we can. We need to look at fines. You'll see many jurisdictions looking at fines and making them the kind of fines that can cause people to change their behavior in how they drive. Uh, we're building bike networks, static protected lane bike networks. We need to do more of that and um, we ultimately must resolve this issue of aligning state and county policies. And you know, I would favor ultimately getting the county to have control over state roads, but that may not be realistic, but perhaps we can get on the same page about what we're trying to achieve here. So I hope that this uh, effort will help forge some of that consensus, and I look forward to working with my colleagues on it. So thank you. Council Member Navarro recently wrote the governor on these sets of issues. Well, a big thank you to Councilmember Berliner, Councilmember Elrich, and uh, Reamer for bringing this forward. Um, it is absolutely true what you have heard. Many of us cannot uh, help but be so frustrated every time we hear of a fatality, every time we hear of another incident, um, because it seems to me that we have this piecemeal process by which we try our best to address every single occurrence. Uh, at the same time, we know that the county has grown considerably. And we know that this is an area where everybody seems to be in a hurry. Uh, to me, that's just a combination of factors uh, that lead to these dangerous uh, uh, sets of issues, especially when the weather changes and the seasons change, et cetera. Um, we do need something like Vision Zero. We have to make sure that we bring all of the technology, all the possible ways that we can improve intersections, that we can improve walkways. The education component is important. It's important for all our residents, and particularly in the immigrant community. I know in the Latino community, this has been a real issue uh, of major impact. And so having a particular plan where we know we can come, we can explore, and we can fund um, those types of remedies, I think it's, it's long overdue. And uh, so I am very glad to join in, and I hope that we can get this forward um, and get working on this because we do not uh, need to tolerate any more deaths related to pedestrian uh, accidents. Thank you. Thank you. Council Member Katz. Thank you very much. I'm here to uh, also lend my support to this important uh, vision. Uh, I'm also very pleased to be joined by some municipal officials uh, count from Gaithersburg, Councilmember Harris and Councilmember Wu are here. Obviously, there are municipal uh, streets that are involved in, in these types of tragedies as well. Uh, yes, just yesterday, I was at a, an event for the city of Rockville, and I spoke to several of their officials as well, and I know that they're going to be joining in with us. You know, this morning, uh, traffic was horrendous. I don't have to tell anybody in this room the, where, where you came from, but, but uh, this morning, I noticed that there were people next to me when I was stopped at a, at a light that were using their cell phones in a handheld way. 
There were, there were people who just do not pay attention to what they're doing, and that's the drivers. And, 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 and that's a true concern. I, I reminded myself this morning that when I first was uh, you know, a, a, a young child, and my, my parents said, you have to assume when you're walking, and they also said, reminded me of this when I was driving, but you have to assume when you're walking that you are the only person paying attention, because if you do that, then you're going to be that much more careful. You're going to pay that much more attention. And I think that's what we need to do. The design and everything else is so very important. But the way that we are going to have to solve this horrible problem is that we all have to take the initiative to make certain that we all are going to be very, very careful in what we do. And if we can, then hopefully that number will get to zero. Thank you very much for doing this. Chief Major. Thank you. I uh, want to um, uh, speak on behalf of the county executive and just um, uh, let everyone know how supportive that the county executive is and the entire administration of the Vision Zero goals. Um, we actually, we, uh, as, as Councilmember Verliner said, we had uh, 38 fatalities that Montgomery County Police investigated. Actually, if you include the ones that Maryland State Police uh, and the state officials investigated, we had 44 people killed. Um, on our highways in Montgomery County last year. Now that's the bad news. The good news is, is that if you go back a few years, we, we consistently measured the number of fatalities in the 50s and 60s uh, each year. So we are headed in the right direction. But the way we're going to continue to uh, head in the right direction and continue to uh, move towards zero is through improved road engineering. It's improved education for pedestrians and drivers. It's improved enforcement, targeted enforcement. Uh, Councilmember Berliner talked about a data-driven approach. Uh, the fact is that we know where these collisions occur. We know uh, we can even determine, in most cases, the reason for the collision. So we're targeting these offenses. Uh, Councilmember Katz talked about the distracted driving issue. Probably the, the, the most uh, common reason uh, that collisions occur is people are paying attention to something other than um, they're driving. So um, between people that are driving too fast, people that are driving distracted, people that are driving impaired, uh, if we can get those offenses down closer to zero, it will result in fewer deaths and fewer collisions on our highways. Uh, and I'll just um, uh, finish by mentioning that um, there is uh, uh, the, the impaired driving, uh, whether it's, it's uh, uh, manslaughter by auto, uh, from an impaired driver, uh, whether it is um, uh, folks that are hosting uh, an underage drinking party. Uh, we are looking to strengthen the, uh, the penalties, strengthen the enforcement uh, of these laws so that we can get um, more drunk drivers off the road and if you're caught driving drunk that the consequences are significant enough that you'll think twice before you do it again. And I think that Vision Zero is absolutely a, a great program and, and uh, the council can certainly count on the Montgomery County Police Department to be a full partner in this effort. Let me turn to some of our community members. Let me start with Charlie Atwell and Ray Holding, if they wouldn't mind. Thank you, Mr. Uh Good morning. My name is Ray Holden. <clears throat> So on the morning of August 28th, Ray's brother, Tim Holden, who was a Navy SEAL, served his country in combat and was a hero, died after being hit by a driver on Massachusetts Avenue in Bethesda. There have been other bicycle and pedestrian injuries and deaths as well in Montgomery County since. And the bottom, the bottom line is that cars, bicyclists, and pedestrians must coexist. We must value every individual's life on the roadways of Montgomery County. Vision Zero is a concept developed in Sweden and adopted by progressive jurisdictions. It has a simple premise. No loss of life is acceptable. The Vision Zero approach has proven highly successful. It is based on a simple fact that we are humans and we make mistakes. The road system needs to keep us moving but it must also be designed to protect us at every turn. The Vision Zero approach, where implemented and embraced, has proven to work. 
every life on our roadways matters. We applaud the Holden family, applauds the Montgomery County Council and the administration for resolving to bring this program to Montgomery County and make it successful. Thank you. Thank you and if I could add, if, if there was some way to relay um, the impact a tragedy like this had on a family, a neighborhood, and a community, um, I don't think we'd have to have meetings like this, but I can't. So we need to get out there, we need to do something. I think Vision Zero sounds like a great program. And it, when it is embraced, and um, I think it's something that will make a big impact in Montgomery County. And I'm glad to see it happening. Thank you. Thanks. We have the chair of, of our Pedestrian, Bicycle, and Traffic Safety Advisory Committee, Daryl Drobdeck. I can never say it correctly. I'll give it a try. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, I'm Daryl Drobnitz, Chairman of the Pedestrian, Bicycle, and Traffic Safety Committee, and uh, I want to express my support for this resolution and congratulate the County Council for taking this on, especially during tough budgetary times. It's important for us, and I think the county has always had the goal of uh, zero deaths and uh, uh, pedestrian fatalities, um, but we always need to think about new ways to take on that challenge because that's going to be a very tough goal. And as we adopt Vision Zero, we also have to adopt a vision for 2030 and 2040 in this county and setting goals and priorities. One of those things is the Bicycle Master Plan, which is now currently being revised, and we applaud for that. The committee fought for that, and we need to set that vision, especially as we get more and more bicycle riders. We have Capital Bike Share coming on board. People want these new alternative ways to get to and from work. We also have been pushing for a pedestrian master plan. And we believe that we need to set a vision for the county for the next 20 years. We have to recognize that the county has done wonderful things and is leading the way in things like uh, traffic safety cameras on bus buses. Uh, we had a big discussion last year, and we got, um, uh, with the county council support, uh, cameras on 25 buses. We have had over 1,000 tickets. I, I think it's something like 1,500 tickets within a year. A child was just hit last week getting onto a bus. If we can't protect our children going to school, we have failed as a county. So I think we all have to double down and think about new ways to do that. I also want to recommend or uh, 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 acknowledge that while we have made commitments and we've made progress, it was only last year that we zeroed out the law enforcement budget for traffic safety. And with the county council support, $80,000 was uh, added back into the budget. That should be at least twice that. We only have $350,000 for countywide education. That should be at least four times that. So why we spend millions and millions of dollars on engineering, I don't want to lose sight of enforcement and education because we have data showing that when enforcement and education work together, it drives, drives down those fatalities. Thank you. Greg Billing. Executive Director of WABA. Thank you. Thank you. Good, e uh, good morning. My name is Greg Billing. I'm the Executive Director of the Washington Area Bicyclists Association. We have about 1,000 members in the county and about 10,000 supporters. We're here to enthusiastically support the county's effort and commitment to zero traffic fatalities. Uh, they join the District of Columbia that recently also committed to zero fatalities and a number of other jurisdictions across the country. We are planning to hold a summit this year uh, to call attention to the number of fatalities in the region. Close to 400 people are killed every year uh, driving, walking, and biking in our, in our communities across the entire region. And unfortunately, a disproportionate of pedestrians and bicyclists account for those deaths, about 25%, when we know that that is not the number of people on the road that are walking and biking. So this is a real issue, uh, has real impacts. I spent one of the last few days of the year biking from Bethesda to Arlington National Cemetery for the burial of Tim Holden. And it was a very powerful moment uh, that we can prevent. Crashes are preventable, fatalities are preventable, and we must do more. So I'm glad to be here and uh, congratulate the county and know we have a lot of hard work ahead of us. So thank you. We have the president of the Action Committee for Transit. Or we don't. 
Well, we do. Uh, but, uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> My name is Renita Viva Dances. I'm the president of the Action Committee for Transit here in Montgomery County. We'd like to thank the council members and the executive for putting forth this resolution. In the f 19 days of 2016 alone, 30 people in this county on foot have been hit by cars. One, a grandmother on her way to work is dead. We can and must prevent these deaths and injuries. We can absolutely do it. We do it by changing how we drive. We do it by changing how we build, design, and engineer our roads, our sidewalks, and our street corners. We do it by changing enforce how our laws and how we enforce them. We have made these changes before when we decided drunk driving was not acceptable, and we can do it again. The time for vision zero is now. Thank you. Well, thank all of you for being here. Thank you for your support. I think you hear how important this is for our county to take the next step. We have been committed, and we are even more committed as of this moment. So happy to answer or have any questions, and if not, thank you very much for being here. <laughs>